Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. I've got a question for you. Have you ever had someone in your life make a terrible decision, a bad decision, and it affects you? And, and it, it really just changes your whole way of life. Well, this is how life was for Mordecai and his adopted daughter, Esther, who's probably a teenager. Uh, their whole life, they are living in a foreign land, speaking a foreign language. They remember the faith of Abraham. The stories have been told to them by their parents, their grandparents, but um, they don't have a temple they can go worship at. Um, they're really immigrant foreigners in a very strange culture. Now, I want to kind of summarize chapters one and two of the book of Esther here. This pagan king Xerxes, he gets drunk at a feast. He commands his queen wife named Vashti to come out and parade her body in front of all of his drunk buddies. She says, no thank you. And he says, then you are now banished from ever being in the presence of the king. So he goes off to Greece to fight the Greek, O oh, Greek Persian war, where he ends up losing. He comes back to his fortress and he's like, I miss having a queen. I miss having a, a woman to talk to about all my problems. And so his advisors say, let's do a kingdom-wide beauty pageant. And this kingdom stretched from India to Ethiopia, all of the ancient Near East, a lot of Northern Africa, all the way over into India, all the way up to Greece. It was a huge kingdom, 127 different provinces of former civilizations they had taken over. And they spend about a year finding all the most beautiful maidens. This is a you know pagan, terrible guy. He just takes these people that, he's, that, that he wants. And uh, eventually he's going to pick a queen. And that's what gets us to today's verse, Esther chapter 2. Verse 17 says this, of these thousands of young women who get paraded before him, they each go through 12 months of beauty spa treatments. And in verse 17, it says, the king loved Esther more than any of the other young women. He was so delighted with her that he set the royal crown on her head and declared her queen instead of Vashti, the queen he was disappointed with. Now, again, this king is not a godly guy. He's not a good guy. In some ways, this is not a, a great thing for Esther. She's going to live an opulent life, but she's not really going to have freedom. And a queen in this culture was not like a queen in France or England. She did not have any power. Um, she could only see the king when he wanted to see her. And she didn't really have any decision-making authority. And yet, in the midst of her difficulty, God is weaving uh, back a hundred years ago, when Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Jerusalem, God already knew the descendants who would have a little girl named Esther who would grow up to be a, an attractive young woman who would be chosen by this pagan king. And someday she's going to save the entire nation by making a bold move. And so the point is this, when our circumstances aren't what we want, when evil people do evil things that harm us and hurt us, God is still at work behind the scenes and we can still trust him. So let's trust him today. I'll see you tomorrow.